is making virtual tours using any of the Insta360 cameras too long? Yes, it is. To solve this, Virtual Tours Creator has just released a new iPhone app, Virtual Tours Creator app in the App Store. You will not have to use the Insta360 app anymore. You will not have to download the photos from the app to the phone. You will not have to press the button to synthesize every single image with HDR, and then you will not have to export those images to your photo gallery to then upload to the Virtual Tours Creation portal, okay? This is all covered in the Virtual Tours Creator app. It's insane. You will be also able to pre-name the rooms before you take the photo, so you will not have to do it afterwards. Everything is faster. Everything is better. It's the best Insta360 app connecting the cameras to a Virtual Tours Creation software. How to do this? I'll share my screen with you on how to simply turn it on in the Virtual Tours Creator app. So stay with me. I know there's hundreds of you using those cameras that drives you crazy. Now you can cut down the virtual tours creation time in half. Insane. This is the best thing we're going to do in 2023. So watch this carefully. First of all, you have to download virtual tours creator app from the app store. When it opens up, you have to log in, use your username and password. When you get in, you have to turn on your Insta camera, turn the power on. It will also turn on the Wi-Fi. And in the VTC app, you look for this little human icon in the bottom right hand side corner. You click on it and that's your settings. It's set to by default to VTC kit, you need to change to Insta360. And that's all you need to do. You click on the home button down in the bottom left hand side corner. And also to make sure it has uploaded, you need to drag the top tour down to refresh the app. So just drag it and then you see the refreshing cock. And from now on, you can create your first virtual tour. You click add a new tour choose your subscription, enter property address. That's just the example. And now it automatically tells you that you can create a name for the room. When it says select a room, you've got all pre-populated room names. So front entry, bedroom, bathroom. You don't have to do it later on the desktop. What's the floor name, ground floor? And now important step. You have to connect the camera for the first time. The phone can't see it, the app can't see it, and it says open app settings. Takes you to the settings. You have to go one step back, top left hand side corner. You go to Wi-Fi and you will here find any of the Insta camera that you use. One X, one X2, one R or RS. When the camera you can turn the Wi-Fi on, it's gonna show it on the list. One X2, that's what I'm using. When it's connected, you can go back to the app and now it's gonna give you a live preview of the camera you have to allow everything when it says camera connection error you go back to connect again there you go and now you have the perfect preview in 360 including me there you go hello and you just tap on the screen to take your first photo boom full hdr in 360 and now you will not have to download any photos synthesize hdr this is all happening in front of your eyes and what's even better once we're gonna have the photo and that's ready you approve by pressing the done button and now we're just gonna move the camera to the next room which in this case is, is the bathroom, but either you can go add a new panorama without adding hotspots, press the blue button, or you open the photo that you just took and you're gonna tap where the next photo is gonna be. You can see a bathroom. I want to go to the bathroom. I'll just tap on the screen to add the bathroom hotspot. We'll call it a bathroom. Which floor is it? And now I'm gonna take the camera and move to the bathroom. You have the live preview. We put it in here, tap the screen to take a photo again. That's how easy it is. That's how quickly it does everything. And now the last step, when it's gonna finish taking this photo, the app is gonna ask you if you want to add a hotspot to go back where you came from. Done. And we came from the hallway, which we called front or whatever it was. And now the app, see, it asks you add return hotspot to front. You can see the bathroom hotspot on the screen. So go yes. And now you just have to spin the bathroom photo around and add the hotspot to go back to the uh, hallway that you came from. So just tap the screen once. Done. Your tour is ready to publish. It's all done. All you have to do at the end, you have to upload all photos and you cannot close the app while this is happening because it's uploading your panoramas, your hotspots, your connections to the cloud. And then you grab the link from the virtual tours creator portal and you share it as you would before. But this will halve the time of your virtual tour. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a go and don't waste your time on using the Insta360 app anymore uh, when you can use the virtual tours creator app only for iPhones. Thank you.